So plants can see way out beyond the red light. The program is called Responding to the Rainbow, and it's an NSF-sponsored project that allows us to bring plant biology out into the communities. It's a teaching program that allows me and students inside CALS and IFAS to actually venture into classrooms to teach children about plants and how plants grow and develop. We go to the schools and we give a little lecture about how plants grow, um, educate them about light and how plants respond to it. I learned um, that plants can see colors. And then we give them a little small scientific experiment where they can bring home and, and test plants' response to light. So when we show up with seeds and test tubes, the kids get really excited. What's important is for them to maintain that same enthusiasm over the course of the following weeks. And this is really easy to do because the plant takes over from there. Every single student in the class kept their science experiment, brought it in on different days. They were really excited about it um, and really excited to, to actually see some of the differences between each other. They're not going to germinate if they're not in the bottom. So STEM education stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Math. Programs like Responding to the Rainbow offer a really friendly portal that they can be kind of almost tricked into doing science, technology, engineering, and math. That now they're learning this stuff, they're learning STEM and participating in STEM. It's a great way for us to kind of get them engaged without telling them they're engaged.